how a person's brain started off from birth um, up until now um, is affected by the environment, by trauma, um, through different stressors that could either be positive or toxic. Understanding how the brain works and how that contributes to their overall well-being is going to be very important when we are considering how do we uh, help that child to the best of our ability. That we have to understand that every interaction we have with the child, uh, their brain is learning, their brain is developing, uh, and that interaction can affect basically that basic foundation or structure of their brain. But Knowing about neuroscience, it just helps us to empathize with um, the youth more. It helps us to understand uh, where they come from. It helps us to understand the choices that they make and uh, their mindset uh, based off of some of the trauma that they've been through that uh, has an effect on the decisions that they make and all of that starts in the brain. So, In KBC we have, um, specifically, we have a couple of different interventions or uh, services that pertain to neurosciences. One of those is the Learning Lab that we have. The Learning Lab is a place that we um, very comfortable for children here at KBC to come in and learn about emotional regulation. They learn about the functions of their brain. We are trying to just teach them how to be uh, more aware of the most their selves and their emotions and know that they are worth, you know, having that attention and time and we are able to put that attention and time to live with them. You have a professional here that knows about uh, trauma, is educated in those things and they are able to engage with the child on a the learning lab you'll know that it is created for kids with the input of many different professionals that are trying to help us connect with the kids on many different levels. We have the emotion regulation station steps on the wall as well to help remind our kids about um, what does it mean to be, be emotionally regulated. Focus is on emotional regulation, on coping skills, safety planning, um, building executive function. emotional regulation drills that help clients build their capacity to cope. When I'm feeling silly, okay. And it also allows the kids to be creative and use their imagination and practice those uh, emotional regulation skills that we encourage them to use. It's basically uh, 10 different steps that we work on with them uh, to help them regulate their emotions so that, that when they become upset, their body is used to doing it, right? So they have kind of that practice, that muscle memory. No, I don't know. Can you add some more to it? We want to move Yeah, here. come on. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Which is another thing I think we miss sometimes in therapy is actually practicing using our coping skills. We spend a lot of time talking about them and why they're important, um, but we don't really practice them. And so the, the emotional regulation drills kind of give us that practice as well as the theory behind why we do that. And educating our clients about about both pieces of that simultaneously. Oh, this way. Um, I feel excited. Though. So when you're excited, when you.